people hug and cry outside the Thomas Mack Center after a mass shooting at the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival on October 2, 2017 in Las Vegas, Nevada Photo by Ethan Miller JT Images Las Vegas, Nevada October 1 People tend to the wounded outside the festival ground after an apparent shooting on October 1, 2017 in Las Vegas, Nevada. There are reports of an active shooter around the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. Photo by David Becker JT Images A pair of cowboy boots is shown in the street outside the concert venue after a mass shooting at a music festival on the Las Vegas Stripey Police Vehicles Block a street corner after a deadly shooting at a music festival AP Photo Road to Churchill A woman sits on a curb at the scene of a shooting outside of a music festival along the Las Vegas Strip Blurred image of heavily armed police officers running Las Vegas, Nevada October 1st People run from the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival after apparent gunfire was heard on October 1st, 2017 in Los Las Vegas, Nevada. There are reports of an active shooter around the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. Photo by David Becker JT Images People react at gunshots heard at Music Festival in Las Vegas, U.S., October 1, 2017 in this picture obtained from social media. Added Black via Reuters This image has been supplied by a third party. Mandatory credit, no resales. No archives Police officers advise people to take cover near the scene of a shooting near the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip, Sunday, October 1, 2017, in Las Vegas. AP Photo John Locker Las Vegas Shooting Las Vegas Shooting Las Vegas Shooting Las Vegas Shooter Stephen Paddock had a detailed plan before he carried out the biggest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. Details have now emerged of Paddock's planning before he began his killing spree up in one of the Mandalay Bay 32nd floor hotel suites. The shooter killed 59 people in his 11-minute on-off shooting spree and injured at least 515 people. His victims were enjoying a country music concert at a site across the Vegas Strip. Although investigators are still at a loss as to the motive behind Paddock's attack, it has now been confirmed that Paddock created a ring of surveillance around him with video cameras in his suite and in the hallway to warn of approaching police he had set up two cameras in the hallway, one concealed on a service card and a third camera over his suite door people Paddock managed to bring 23 guns and hundreds of rounds ammunition into his hotel suite police have yet to report on CCTV details which they hope will show how Paddock concealed the weapons the gunman had at least 10 suitcases in his room room but hotel staff say it would have been easy to bring suitcases to a room without arousing suspicion Paddock had transferred $100,000 to a bank account in the Philippines it is not yet known whether it was part of an escape plan or otherwise it is also not yet confirmed if the bank account is that of his girlfriend Paddock had outfitted 12 of his rifles with a bump stock a device that enables a gun to fire hundreds of rounds per minute like a machine gun such devices are generally legal in the state and can cost as little as $99 the gunman checked into the luxury suite in the Mandalay Bay hotel on September 28, 2017 which allowed him three full days to prepare his shooting spree paddock hung a do not disturb sign on his suite door for three days so no housekeeping entered the room a hotel worker told the New York Times. Housekeepers are allowed to enter a room with such a sign only in the presence of a security guard, which happens rarely and only after several days. Paddock's behavior did not concern any staff, who are trained to look for anything suspicious. Paddock's 47 weapons found in both his two houses and in his hotel suite were all traced and bought in Nevada, Utah, California and Texas. Emergency services received their first phone call at 10.08 p.m. on Sunday night, according to Las Vegas Police Department under Sheriff Kevin McMahill. The shooter stopped his attack at 10.19 p.m. He commended authorities for their work and said to stop such an attack in just 11 minutes was remarkable. The undersheriff explained that there was a delay in the SWAT team entering the hotel suite as they assessed the area, but confirmed that the shooter's attack had stopped at this stage. He said it is believed Paddock may have killed himself once he saw the SWAT team in the hallway outside his suite through his surveillance. Las Vegas, Nevada October 3rd Las Vegas Boulevard remained closed to vehicular traffic near the scene of Sunday night's mass shooting photo by Drew Anger RGT images mourners attend a candlelight vigil at the corner of Sahara Avenue and Las Vegas Boulevard photo by Drew Anger RGT images crime scene tape and red balloons outside the Route 91 festival venue photo Mark Ralston Mark JT images mourners attend a candlelight vigil at the corner of Sahara Avenue and Las Vegas Boulevard for the victims of Sunday night's mass shooting photo by Drew Anger RGT images Amen. 
message of condolences for the victims of Sunday night's mass shooting is displayed on the marquee of the MGM Grand Hotel Casino photo by Drew Anger RGD Images A view of Las Vegas Village, a 15-acre open-air venue on the Las Vegas Strip, taken on October 3, 2017 AFP photo Robin Beck Robin Beck of BGT Images Flowers were left on Las Vegas Boulevard near the scene of Sunday night's mass shooting photo by Drew Anger RGD Images The W Las Vegas displays a message for the victims of Sunday night's mass shooting photo by Drew Anger RGD Images Mourners light candles during a vigil at the corner of Sahara Avenue and Las Vegas Boulevard for the victims of Sunday night's mass shooting photo by Drew Anger RGD Images Las Vegas Police investigate a side street near the Las Vegas Village after a lone gunman opened fired on the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival photo by David Becker JT Images BESTPIX People take an outdoor escalator past a sign asking for prayers for the victims outside of the MGM Hotel in Las Vegas, Tuesday, October 3, 2017. A gunman opened fire on an outdoor music concert on Sunday. It was the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history, with dozens of people killed and hundreds injured, some by gunfire, some during the chaotic escape. AP photo John Locker A woman looks over a makeshift memorial site on Las Vegas Boulevard on Tuesday, October 3, 2017, in Las Vegas. A gunman opened fire on an outdoor music concert on Sunday killing dozens and injuring hundreds. AP photo Chris Carlson nighttime view of the Las Vegas Strip including the festival grounds where a mass shooting occurred, bottom right Tuesday, October 3, 2017, in Las Vegas. Authorities said Stephen Craig Paddock broke windows on the Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino and began firing with a cache of weapons Sunday, killing dozens and injuring hundreds at a music festival. AP photo Mercio Jose Sanchez a sign asking for blood donations on a marquee is shown following a mass shooting at the Route 91 Music Festival in Las Vegas, Nevada, U.S., October 2, 2017. Photo taken October 2, 2017. Reuters Lissagerian Online Editors.